I think if your intelligence functions, if you allow it to function, your intelligence is incapable of believing anything, isn't it so? Yes or no? Yes? Your intelligence wants to know, it is not ready to believe anything actually, but you are forsaking your intelligence because your fear is so dominant, you feel comfortable in believing. But if you allow your intelligence to take you ahead, your intelligence doesn't believe anything, it wants to know everything, isn't it? Yes, is that the nature of your intelligence? So if you allow your intelligence to function, then you will see all your beliefs will just fall apart because you know, you don't know, isn't it? But it takes a lot of pressure to make you admit it <laughs> But actually you know that you don't know, isn't it? Do you know? Yes, then what's the problem? You don't have to admit it to anybody, at least to yourself. Can't you admit, okay, I don't know? If you don't know, do you see you have to use your intelligence? Do you see this? See, suppose, let's say it's pitch dark, you don't know how the ground is. Do you see how alert you'll become? Every step that you take, that's how it is. When you do not know, everything becomes bright. It is just looking. Your intelligence is all hyped up and looking. When you assume I know, everything settles down and you go on with your stupid life, isn't it? Is it all right if you use your intelligence? Do I have your permission? Hmm? Is it okay for you to use your intelligence or is it against God? It's all right. I'm asking you, is it against God if you employ your intelligence and live your life? If God was against intelligence, he wouldn't have created it, isn't it? If the creator was against you functioning intelligently, it wouldn't have been given to you, isn't it? So, if you employ your intelligence, you will see your intelligence is not willing to believe anything. It is only the fear in you. Don't you ever believe that it is bhakti? No bhakti, just fear which is making you believe things, isn't it? That's why you made it baya bhakti <laughs> There's no baya and bhakti together. If bhakti comes, I'm sorry, you know what's baya bhakti? Hmm? Yourself? No? Bhaya means fear, bhakti means devotion. See, if devotion comes, fear will not exist in you. If fear exists, that means devotion has not come. <laughs> but you made a hybrid, you want to have both, <laughs> bhaya bhakti. <laughs> there is no bhaya bhakti, just bhaya, <laughs> only fear. No fear and devotion cannot exist together, please see this.